good morning all welcome back to my channel so in this today's session we are going to learn what is drill through report in ssrs and how we can create it okay in previous session we have understood that what is the drill down report and how we can create it in the practical demo as well so in this session we are going to cover drill through report in ssrs okay so uh, and also we have covered the sub report so uh, at the end of the video uh, i'm going to compare all these three reports with the same example so that the concept will be clear to all of you guys so uh, be in the uh, video uh, by the end of the uh, session so that you will be able to understand the comparison between the drill through reports uh, sub reports and drill down reports okay so without any further delay let's understand the conceptual uh, definition of drill through report so what it is saying it is through uh, it is uh, passing uh, as a name says it it is going uh, it is drilling the data uh, drilling the data through the main report okay so it consists of the two reports basically main report or we can say the parent report and the child report okay so let's say this is uh, uh, what this query is saying select pro product category id name from the product category order by the product category id so it is giving the product category id and the name of the product so this is the parent report we can say but if we wanted to see all the products which uh, on the basis of this particular id what are the product exist in our database that is our child reports we wanted to see that also so there are two ways there are multiple ways to see that uh, it depends on the requirement like if you wanted to uh, uh, wanted to put one hyperlink in your uh, parent uh, report and you wanted when you click on that hyperlink or you when you wanted to click on the product category id you will be able to or uh, you will be navigate to the child report okay that is called the drill through reports you are drilling through the report from the parent report to the child report to get the detailed information of that particular id on which you have clicked on okay that is drill, drill through reports and we have discussed the sub report as well in my previous to previous session there the sub report says that it is the part of the main report as the name suggests sub report means it's a part of the report so that means child report exists in the same report okay in the parent report itself it also consists of the two reports main report and the child report parent report and the child report okay so drill through report we can say this is the report through which it enables the user to to get the detailed information of the data by drilling through the data uh, by drilling through uh, from the main report to the child report okay so let's uh, just uh, let's create this report so that we will understand it better so first create uh, we'll create the child report okay so this is the query for getting the child report so let's jump to the visual studio here I'm going to the solution explorer right click on the report section here and going to add a new report so I've just click on the add new item here and select this template with the RDL extension and let's give the name as drill through child report okay so let's give this name just wait for a couple of seconds it will be created so now it is created as we know already that the first thing is we need to set up the data source okay so i have just uh, give the name is the data source one that is fine i'm not going to change it uh, ideally you, sh you should change it now we need to provide the connection string for that we need to go to the visual studio connect here database engine you will get the server name copy this server name okay just copy it close this window go back to your visual studio and uh, sorry click on build okay click on build here you got the server name just paste it the server name okay as you as soon as you paste it you will get all the database select your database for practical demo i have selected this adventure uh, work 2017 database so this is fine now click on ok so this data source has been set up go and check credentials should be the window authentication so click on ok now the next part is we need to provide our data set that means what you wanted to show in your child report okay i wanted to show the data set whatever the data set should be embedded in my report i don't want this data set to be shared with a different data uh, different report in my same solution so what i so that is why i have choose this use data set embedded in my report so data source name is this fine uh, this is the data source which i am going to use 
and the query i have already created a query here so why i have pa passing this parameter because we wanted this data to be uh, to get from the uh, from the parent okay so that is why we want we have to pass this value just copy this and paste here okay if you go to the field you will see that name is the column see select name from them. so we are just getting the name so name is in is coming in the field option and if you go to the parameter this product category id okay that is this is uh, sometimes it is uh, blank so what you're gonna do just click on okay okay and then again open this data set which you have created and if you go back in the parameter you will be able to see this it will come up so it will take few matter of um, seconds to get reflected okay so this is fine so our data set has been completed data source we have configured now the next part is see product category id this uh, by default uh, this parameter is now has been created if you see here because we have used this parameter in our query so that is why it has been created here and it is asking for the parameter uh, to put so that we will able to get the data so that is why it is coming over here also as a text box so what we can do we um, uh, we want this parameter to be passed from the parent report so that is why we need to make this hidden so we will do it later on first we will create a table here okay so just go to the canvas right click and create a table so only one column i have okay i do not have any other column so let's delete all rest column and just go and check the preview first so i have a, a category as one two three four so I'm just going. I'm just uh, going to show you whether this report is working fine, technically or not. So yes. So if my pro uh, so bike is the product, uh, the when value is for the bike. Okay. So if I put the value two. So uh, these are the mountain bikes route by. So this is sub categories. Okay. Now if the two. So this is for the hand uh, accessories. Okay. So two is accessories. So this these are the kind of the accessories we have. So now go to the design because now we don't want this data to be filled by the user in the second report. We want this uh, data or we want this product category ID to be passed from the parent side. So we do not need this text box. So what we can do, right click on this parameter, go to the parameter properties. Okay. And go to your, uh, you know, uh, available values. No, uh, you need to go to visibility section. Yes, you need to go to visibility section and make it as hidden. That's it. Now, if you go to preview. So it will say that this parameter is missing a value. Okay. So it is expecting a parameter value, parameter uh, product category ID, which is fine because we are going to pass this value from the main report. So our child report has been created till now. Okay. So now we are going to create our main report or we can say the parent report for the drill down. So just create a new item. Okay. Give the same nomen nomenclature so that you will be able to correlate later on. Uh, drill through and just make it as a parent okay so let's it has been created quickly finish all this stuff just set up uh, the data source or uh, i have already a shared data source i guess i can use this shared data source i always use this uh, adventure work so that is fine this is all i have already created a shared data source if you see ds source rds so i'm going to use this so i have used it data so source is um, configured now go to the data set so i wanted the embedded data so data source i have selected here i'm going uh, a little bit fast because i have already created these steps in uh, 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 earlier sessions in drill down and uh, sub reports so you can uh, very slowly in that in those those session i have uh, taken care of this steps very slowly so you can go to the uh, those videos and you can understand okay <clears throat> so copy this query this is the parent report okay copy this query over here fields are two fields okay there is no parameter because we have this parent query we are going to display the par pro uh, product category id and the name click on okay so this is done now next step is we need to create a table so we are going to create a simple table product category id and the next step is product category name so what we are going to this column is not needed so we what we can do we can delete it if you want you can just uh, do some 
styling over here so that it will be a look a little bit good okay so this is done so if you go and check the preview so this these are the main categories okay this, this is the main category of product one two three four so now in the drill through report what we wanted we want if i click on one it will go and give me the subcategories of bike if i click on two it will go and give me all the components subcategory of the component product if i click right now if i click nothing is happening because i have not put hyperlink on it so for that what we can what we need to do we need to go back to the design section here select this product category id click on this placeholder property and go to the action okay this action is the main part you need to apply a hyperlink here so these are the enable as an action you you are going to apply an action on this thing okay on this text so earlier what was that it was only the text okay now i am going to apply an action on this text okay so if so what you wanted to what kind of the action you wanted to put you wanted to uh, go to some uh, certain report you wanted to go to some uh, url or you wanted to create one bookmark so for my uh, requirement i wanted to go to my sub report okay so i click on go to report and just select the drill through child report so now it is asking okay you wanted to go to the child what parameter or uh, what parameter you wanted to pass so that we, i will i can i will be able to give you the desired result okay so for that i need to click on this parameter click on add and what i wanted to pass product category id i wanted to pass just select the value here click on okay that's it this is the only thing that you need to take care of while creating a drill through report okay then save it go back to your preview section now what will happen it looks similar early uh, as earlier but when you click see earlier what was now you know you if you can notice uh, earlier when we mouse over here there is no hand sign okay but right now i am able to see the hand sign that means it is a hyperlink so click on one okay and if you can see here mountain bikes road bikes touring bike okay name is not styling because we have not given any style here you can go back to the drill through child report and you can just select your header part and give uh, make it as uh, bold and give some color like uh, give give us uh, this color okay just to highlight it okay now save it go back to your parent report go back to your design again go back to your preview now if you click on this clothing okay so she see uh, this is uh, the styling is now appear so in clothing this is the sub categories okay caps gloves jersey shorts socks tie vest so all these things this is the arrow go back to your parent report when you mouse over it will give back, go back to the parent report okay if you click on fourth it will go to your fourth category okay and here it is a back to the parent report so this is the drill through report okay so now go back to the design i have already created one more uh, sub report what happened on that report uh, this product category main report so this is the uh, this is the report of the sub report what you if you have noticed here go back to the previous section if you can see I'll, i'll just revise uh, this thing so this is the interface of the sub report if you see product category 1 okay there is no hyperlink here bikes and inside of it in the same report we have the sub details of the product category like inside the bikes i have mountain bikes road bikes touring bike and i am displaying in the same reports i am not going to navigate to some other reports although the okay so this is the sub report okay although it is in the uh, uh, this this is not going to change but it is available in the same report but what happened in the parent if you see uh, what happened in the drill through report if you preview here if you you click on this one bike okay so it is navigating to the second report your child report because you will not able to see the other uh, uh, categories okay so this is the difference of drill through so you are drilling through the data from the parent to the child report through the hyperlink okay through the link and sub report is the part of the 
part of your uh, uh, sub report is this is the sub report is the part of the main report okay this is the difference of the drill through reports and the sub report now talking about the difference between the drill through and drop down reports so let me close this sub reports i have created one uh, drill down reports here also you see here click on preview so drill down report is like it is da drilling down the reports so it is giving you overview of categories like accessories bikes clothing and components but if i wanted to drill down okay in the same reports with the help of toggle button plus and minus signs then i will be able to see all the products under the bikes category so this is the drill down reports if you go back to the drill through reports here you will be will not be able to see uh, you will uh, able to see only one category at a one time whatever you have selected but in drill down reports you will be able to see all the categories only the difference is you have to click on this plus and minus sign to see the uh, uh, to see the visibility i mean to uh, toggle uh, toggle this category so that you will be able to see all the products here in the drill down i am uh, i have uh, shown all the products belo uh, belongs to this category in the drill through i have just uh, shown uh, shown you the sub category of the product category okay so this is the main difference between so if anybody or interviewer ask you the difference between drill through drill uh, drill down and the sub reports so i think uh, it will be easy for you to give uh, the differences and there is one more difference which is very important uh, regarding the drill through and the sub reports like sub reports and um, drill through both uh, both will contains the two separate reports okay parent report and the child report okay so only the on the uh, on the uh, user interface side there is a difference but there is one more difference like although the drill through and the sub report both types of report contains the parent report and the child report okay but in the drill through reports both reports should be in the same report server when we talk about the report server you will have the same report uh, you will have the parent report and sub report will be in the same uh, report server will be hosted or will be uh, deployed in the same server report server but in the sub report you can have your child report in some other uh, report server okay so this is the difference between this is the second difference between the drill through reports and the sub reports so this is the way you can create the drill through reports in your ssir in, in ssrs so i hope you like the video just in case if you have any doubt regarding these three reports so uh, just be feel free and uh, comment me in the comment section so that i will be able to uh, clear your doubts thank you and have a nice day guys